What weaves a good story? Welcome to this first video of Unit 1, Born to be Wild. Hello everyone! In this video, we'll be learning about the elements that constitute a great story. Whether you are playing a video game, or reading a book, or even watching a movie, there are many elements that constitute what we call a great plot or a great story. These three key elements are, what do you think they are? You guess right, the setting, the characters, and the conflict. In this video, we'll be exploring the three elements of a story or any other type of narrative in literature. And not only literature, think about your own video games. Let's expand that knowledge. So, let's start. Let's think about this question. What makes a story or a text, a video game, unforgettable? What do you think? Let's watch one of my favorite video games. It's called Inside by Play Dead. And it's basically a boy trying to run away from an alien invasion. So in any video game or in any story or in any plot, we have three key elements. We have the setting, we have the characters, and we have a conflict that is part of the plot. In my video game, we know that is the future is a very apocalyptic future of the world, where we have lots of water, we have like an invasion, and we have bodies controlled by someone or by an entity. The mood of the setting, we'll talk about that later. The mood is um, how the reader feels throughout the story. If you take a look at the video, the video is quite creepy, don't you think? And what is a good story without its characters? For example, we have Zelda. We have the Red Dead Redemption characters. Even the football players at FIFA. All of them will always have a background story that contributes onto the general plot of the video game. Characters are very important in any story. In our next video, we'll be talking about all those types of conflict that emerge inside a story. Stay tuned! Bye!